Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are continuing our problems on influence line and moving nodes. So this problem is a train of concentrated loads. Train of concentrated loads moving from A to B. So when a train of moving loads is moving from left to right, what is the maximum shear force and maximum bending moment at a section of 8 meter from the left support? So section is given. Here also the section is given. And you are asked to find the maximum shear force and maximum bending moment at the section C. So it is our aim is to find maximum negative bending moment, maximum force, sorry, maximum negative shear force, maximum positive shear force and maximum bending moment. And bending moment is always positive. So now we can see the four loads. That is 8 kilo newton, 15 kilo newton, 15 kilo newton and 10 kilo newton. And the distances between these loads are 2 meters. Total length of the span is 30 meter and the section is taken at a distance of 8 meter. So this is our given problem. So for this given problem, we will draw the influence line diagram for shear force. So we all know influence line diagram for shear force at a section for a simply supported beam will have a positive ordinate and a negative ordinate at the section. So the positive ordinate is L minus X by L and by substituting L is equal to 30 and X is equal to 8, we get the positive ordinate as 11 by 15. That is at section X is equal to 8 meter, the positive ordinate is 11 by 15 and the negative ordinate is X by 11 that is equal to 4 by 15. Now, the influence line diagram for bending moment at eight, x is equal to 8 meter. So, for bend, uh, bending moment, we have only the positive ordinate. And this positive ordinate is obtained by the relation x by l into l minus x. So, substituting x is equal to 8 and l is equal to 30, we get the ordinate for bending moment as 88 by 15. Now we will see how to determine the maximum negative shear force. So for finding the maximum negative shear force, we have to place the leader load, leading load at this section. So this is the section. Leading load is 10 kilo Newton load. We call it as leading load because this leads the other loads. It is moving from A to B. So 10 kilo Newton load is the leading load. So when we place this 10 kilo Newton load at C, we will find the other ordinates under the other loads. That is this ordinate, then this ordinate and this ordinate. So we will find these ordinates under the loads. So for that we use a similar triangle principles and we found the values of Y1, Y2 and Y3. And we obtained the ordinate under this 15 kilo Newton load is 3 by 15. The ordinate under the next 15 kilo Newton load is 2 by 15. And the ordinate under the next 8 kilo Newton load is 1 by 15. Now we know the maximum value of a negative shear force is equal to the magnitude of the load multiplied by the ordinate under the load in the influence line diagram. So, by multiplying the magnitude by the ordinate in the influence line diagram, we obtain the maximum negative shear forces minus 123 by 15 kN. Same way, for po maximum positive shear force, we have to place the trailer load. Trailer load means the last load, last moving load, that is the trailer load that load should be placed at C. So when placing the trailing load at C, 
we can find the other ordinates that is ordinates under the other loads using similar triangle principles so these are the ordinates we can find these using similar triangle principles so these ordinates are taken as y1 y2 and y3 so the ordinates are found using similar triangle principles now by multiplying the magnitude of the load by their corresponding ordinates so maximum magnitude of the load magnitude of the load multiplied by the ordinates so we have four loads magnitude of all the four loads multiplied by their corresponding ordinates in the influence line diagram under the load the value for maximum positive shear force is 453 by 15 kilo newton now we need to find the maximum bending moment at this section c see section is given for us we need to find the maximum bending moment at this section so since the section is given for us our condition is maximum bending moment will be obtained when any one of the load is at the section so we have four loads so we don't know which load should be placed at c to obtain the maximum bending moment so we will do it in a trial and error basis so we have four loads and we will uh, take four cases so case 1 we will place the leading 10 kilo newton load at c case 2 we will place the second 15 kilo newton load at c case 3 we will place the third 15 kilo newton load at c and case 4 we will place the fourth load that is 8 kilo newton load at c so case 1 when 10 kilo newton load is at the section 10 kilo newton load is at the section so this is our 10 kilo newton load is placed at c so by placing this 10 kilo newton load at c we obtain by using similar triangle principles the ordinates in the influence line diagram under the other loads so after obtaining the ordinates we multiply the ordinates by the corresponding magnitudes of the load we obtain the maximum bending moment as 100 80.38 kilo newton meter for the first case 180 same way the second case the second load is placed at c the second load the 15 kilo newton load is placed at c so by placing this 15 kilo newton at c we are finding the ordinates under the loads using similar triangle principles So after finding the ordinates the maximum bending moment is equal to the intensity of the load multiplied by the ordinates we get the maximum bending moment when this 15 kilo newton load is placed at cs 230.7 kilo newton now case 3 we will place the third load at c so we can see we are placing the third load at c third load at the section so under And for this case we will determine the ordinates under the loads using similar triangle principles now we will multiply the intensity of the load by their corresponding ordinates to obtain the maximum bending moment when this third load that is 15 kN load is placed at c and we get 251.15 kN meter now case 4 we are placing the last load trailing load 8 kilo newton load at c so when this 8 kilo newton load is placed at c find the ordinates under the other loads in the influence line diagram using similar triangle principles and after that multiply the intensity of the load with the corresponding ordinates we obtain the maximum bending moment as 241.54 kilo newton meter So now we will compare all the four cases and after comparison we will come to a conclusion that comparing all the four cases the maximum bending moment for the section at a distance of 8 meter from a is the third case that is the second 15 kN load is at the section case 3 
and the maximum bending moment is 251.15 kilo newton so that's all we are asked to find maximum negative shear force maximum positive shear force and maximum bending moment thank you